From renderings to reality, members of the West End Fire Company and officials from Chestnut Hill Township walked Newswatch 16 through the new emergency operations center on Route 715 in Broadsville. We've been through the building for the past couple months, watching it get done, and you know now you know walking through it today, we're we're seeing a lot of getting to the finish, getting to the finish, cleaning it, putting in all the last steps. The complex is home to the fire company, LVHN ambulance services, and Chestnut Hill Township emergency operations. The 11 million dollar project is a decade in the making. We had about $3 million in grants uh, to help offset the costs of, of the facility. Uh, we're doing uh, leases with Lehigh Valley Health Network, EMS, and also the fire company. The old firehouse across the street was built in the 1960s. The department and their gear simply outgrew the space. We had a study done. Our commercial area is the Broadsville area. We have a ladder truck. It does not fit here. It has to go in effort. So now we'll be able to bring our ladder truck down to our commercial area of the township where it belongs. Each agency has its own space with bays for vehicles, meeting rooms, full kitchens and shower facilities to clean up after a call. Chief Michael Manfrey says there are also features that will save the fire company a lot of time. We have a 35,000 gallon water tank now. We can fill our trucks after an incident. We don't have to go to ponds or a neighboring area to where they have hydrants to fill our trucks. It's just endless amount of benefits we're going to have now. Chestnut Hill Township Manager Dave Albright says the building will now allow for more collaboration between agencies during major incidents and weather events. He says it's a major upgrade from the current setup at the township building. We can set up here with 12 stations and really have the ability to work together cooperatively. Uh, in larger emergencies where it would be necessary. Officials expect to have all of the equipment moved in by the end of the year. Emily Kress, Newswatch 16, Monroe County.